Morning. Well, despite the lockdown continuing, Hyundai is ramping up an aggressive rollout of new cars and SUVs. Fox 40's auto expert Nick Miles heads to the beach to test drive their new sedan that starts under 20000 well, thanks, everyone. Welcome to Zuma Beach in California. Do you remember the flying taxi from uh, Hyundai that was done with Uber? Well, this is their latest offering. This is the Hyundai Elantra. This will actually be coming to dealerships very soon, unlike the flying taxi. This vehicle is made under the new Hyundai mantra of Mecca. Mecca stands for mobility electrification, connectivity, and autonomous driving. And this vehicle is their latest offering. Does it meet all of those mantras that they're going for in the future? The Hyundai Elantra initially came onto the scene in 1990. This vehicle has been a key success for Hyundai. And the fifth generation in 2012 was actually the North American Car of the Year. In 2021, the seventh generation is now arriving. This is the one I'm driving. In 2020, it celebrated its 30th anniversary, which means that this vehicle is older than many people who are driving it today. Built on the new K3 platform, that means this vehicle has a more dynamic drive than in previous editions. The guys at Hyundai wanted to tune it, so it had great response, great dynamic driving in the corners, but yet on long journeys was nice and comfortable. The drive modes allow you to put it in something like sport and get some nice acceleration out of it if you punch it. See what I mean? It's always worth having the value for money conversation about vehicles. The new Elantra starting at $19,650. It's a good value for money when you consider all of the things that you get with the brand new Elantra. But you also need to consider the resale value. Uh, Hyundai's don't always sell for as much money as I think they're worth. However, they are a good brand new buy. Now, usually when we talk about design, we start at the front of the car, but I'm going to make it very different today and start at the back. Look how angular this vehicle is from the back when so many of the cars nowadays look like dead haddocks lying on the beach. This one looks like an Audi A7 at the back. So many angular lines. Look at the different angles here, and they all meet here at the front in this door. Three different angles, which is usually a big no-no in driver's design. Wheels, very angular shape between 15 and 18 inch wheels. Angular daytime running lights, angular lights, angular grille, angular bumper. This vehicle is very different. And if you drive one of the seven vehicles that are in this class that are big sellers, you'll definitely stand out on the road. For Fox 40, I'm Nick Miles. It's a cool looking car. Thanks, Nick.